Number three, we want to solve or find the real solutions to this equation. Absolute value of 3x equals 12. When you have absolute value equations, you have to solve the problem twice. You have to be mindful that whatever this is could equal to positive 12 and when you take the absolute value of it it just shows you positive it could also come out to be negative 12 and when you take the absolute value of it it still shows you positive so that's what we have to do must remember that it's similar to uh, square root because you could get a positive or negative so when you solve these we say 3x we set it equal to 12 and then we also have this other case. We have 3x. We set it equal to negative 12. So you do that after you remove the absolute values. Okay? Then we solve. We divide by 3 on both sides. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So we have x equals 4. This is one possibility. And then over here we would do the same thing. Divide by 3 on both sides. 3 divided by 3 is 1. We have x equals negative 4. So if you were to plug in and check, 3 times 4 is 12. Absolute value of 12 is 12. And if you plug in negative 4, 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. But when you do absolute value of negative 12, it comes out positive as well. So both of these are real number solutions for number three. So we will say negative four and four. All right, number four, similar. We just have a bigger linear equation. So again, absolute value, nine x plus eight equals 3. We're going to solve it again, set it up twice. So we set up the positive one, 9x plus 8 equals 3. Or this expression could have come out to be negative 3. So we don't set it negative with the absolute value. We set it negative afterwards. We're just saying this inside could be 3 or this inside could have came out to be negative 3 and we're trying to figure that out. So we will subtract 8 from both sides. This gives us 9x equals 5, negative 5, and then we will divide by 9. So divide by 9, divide by 9, and we get x equals to negative 5 ninths. Here we will subtract 8 from both sides. We get 9x equals negative 11, and then divide by 9 and we get x equals negative 11 over 9. So again we get two real solutions um, for this. And it's always good to go back and just double check and plug in your answer. Negative 5 ninths put that on the bottom and then negative 11 